friends, it's Brooke. Um, welcome back. I know I look really rough right now. I'm coming from school. It was a long day and I'm exhausted, but I'm here and I really wanted to record this video just because I, I want to inform others about things that I didn't know going into the restaurant industry and things that I wish someone would have told me or uh, let me know before I sort of got involved with it. And I think that it's something everyone should do once in their life just because it does teach you a lot. I know my experience was really great and um, but there were a few bumps in the road and I just wanted to let everyone know what those could be in the future you know if you ever tried to pursue a career or you know just get a little waitressing job like I want to let everyone know what I learned and hopefully it's entertaining. I, I don't know. just wanted to give you guys eight or nine things that I wish someone had told me about the restaurant industry or things that I wish that I knew um, before going into a job working in a restaurant, obviously they vary. I also was not a waitress, so don't take my account to the grave. Obviously, I was um, I was a hostess for almost a year, and I serve tables sometimes, and I definitely know the ups and downs. So I was in the environment, but I wasn't like I wasn't like a waitress for like 30 years and like some old like wise lady who knows everything in the world. Like don't take me for that. So hopefully it'll be helpful. I know a lot of my People who watch my YouTube videos are younger and maybe when they grow up, if they get a job in the restaurant industry, well, good luck, Charlie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rule number one, you can't please everybody. I'm just gonna say that and 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 say that because it is true. In the restaurant industry, you can never please everyone in the world. You could be Mother Teresa. You could be the nicest human on the planet and there is still going to be one middle-aged white lady to scream at you i promise like genuinely there is no way around it anywhere in the service industry for that matter if you work retail if you work customer service somewhere if you work you know whatever like there will always be that one person that's just unhappy and there's nothing you can do about it and yes it may suck and you do want to be the best that you can but at the end of the day you can't please everyone in the world and that's okay and I think that no one really forgets their first time someone yelled at them or someone got mad at them for doing something wrong I know when I worked as a hostess I used to do to-go orders and it was like my second or third day on the job and I was kind of unprepared to do it I didn't really know a lot but I was like oh yeah I'll be fine and I got this lady's order wrong and she literally started screaming at, like full-on like screaming at me in the middle of this restaurant and I just sat there and I was like whoa and it was like minuscule like it wasn't like I like charged her account four million dollars and like gave her something she was like deadly allergic to like it was just like a minuscule detail and she like freaked out and now every time she calls the restaurant she's like okay and you guys messed this up one time so like don't do it again and like states everything that I did wrong and like she's still on it like oh my god she's such a bitter old woman so yeah, just to let you guys know it's totally okay. It happens to everyone. I'm sure everyone that you worked with who works in a restaurant has a similar experience where they did, maybe they messed up a little bit or maybe they did nothing at all and that person was just having a bad day. Like, they've experienced something similar to that story um, in one shape or another and you just have to know that getting into it and not let it get to you. And if you're a super, super sensitive person, I honestly wouldn't work in the restaurant industry just because, because people are crazy and that's just humans. We're all just not jobs, so you can't really expect not to see any of that when it comes to your workplace. And that brings me to number two. The general public is crazy. It doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter. The general public, there are some weirdos. There are some <laughs> people in the world. So, that being said, some of them are bound to come, out, come into the restaurant or establishment that you work in at some point in time. Now, if that happens, obviously, customer service says you have to keep a smile on your face and you have to stay positive and be really nice. And I do recommend that you always be nice to people. It doesn't matter. They might have something, you know, wrong with them that they can't help or they might be going through something really crazy. That being said, if someone is concerningly crazy, go tell a manager. I cannot stress that enough. Um, along with the crazy people that are going to yell at you for, like, that doesn't really matter. There are people who are just genuinely crazy. Um, one time a lady came into our restaurant. She sat, she asked for a table for two, sat her, uh, put two menus, one on like her side of the booth and one on the other. And she like ordered two meals 
and was having a full-blown conversation with the other side of the booth, booth, and no one was there. Literally, this lady sat here and talked to no one for 45 minutes. Now, I don't know what was wrong. She seemed very mad at the person. It's like kind of getting frustrated with them. And she was sitting like right by where like hostess stand was. And I swear to you, I was sitting there and I was by myself up like in that area of the restaurant. And she was just yelling at this imaginary person while she was eating her salad. And there was a salad sitting across from her. It was terrifying. A friend of mine, like, I used to work at a, a nice restaurant, and, like, this guy was trying to offer her, like, pills and, like, trying to give her stuff and, like, give her his number and, like, being super creepy and weird about it and, like, so you can get yourself into dangerous situations. It doesn't matter if you work at the nicest restaurant. It doesn't matter. Like, there are crazy people in the world. Stay safe. Tell someone if something seems wrong. Number three. Okay. Number three. I cannot stress this enough. I don't know if this is just like a personal thing. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But when it comes down to a job, it's all about liking the people that you work with. It doesn't matter if your boss is crazy. It doesn't matter if your clientele is crazy. It doesn't matter if your job literally sucks. But if you have people that you work with that you get along with and they're fun and like you guys have a good time, it's all worth it. Like I know at my last job, I loved the people that I worked with. They were so nice, so supportive, so funny. And I hung out with them outside of work. And it just made all the difference in the world because it didn't matter if some like crazy person came in that day and like screamed at all of us and like yelled at you and embarrassed you or whatever. If you're like cool with the people that you work with, they're going to be like, whatever, like screw her. Like it doesn't matter. Like we're all good. And like it makes it all okay. And it's just like... Working with people that you get along with is the biggest thing in the world. That being said, number three leads us into number four. I cannot stress this. I know I say that about every single one, but this one I think is more of a, a personal thing rather than like other people is that you can't be afraid to stick up for yourself. And not only is that true in the restaurant industry, that's true in any industry. Don't let like the man or like, you know, corporate or whoever's above you diminish you and I know that I'm not trying to say that about like anywhere in particular and that didn't really happen at the place that I worked at it just I, it's just a general rule of thumb like don't be afraid to stick up for yourself and like if you think that you're not being appreciated enough or you don't think that you know something is right you should say something and I'm not saying like go up to your boss and be like F you like don't do that don't do that but like if you don't feel like something is right or someone something is given justice you need to say something about it like people are going to walk over you if you do not stick up for yourself so like i'm not saying be like a b saying that i'm just saying like if the opportunity presents itself for you to kind of like stay silent or for you to like stick up for yourself when it comes to like people that you work with or whatever especially like people above you say it do it in a way that's nice and professional I don't want you guys to like get fired because I told you to like stick up to your boss, but at the same time, don't let them do something that isn't in your eyes right. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. Number five is a lot more focused on how you do your job. Um, the restaurant industry is crazy. There is absolutely nothing like it. I think everyone should do it at one point. I honestly cannot find any parallels in the universe that match working in a restaurant on a busy night. That is just the in the most like insane thing you can think of because people are crazy. And a big thing with working in the restaurant industry is working under pressure, multitasking, thinking on your feet, things like that. Like, like it's all about preserving this image of the restaurant and maybe it's crazy back in the kitchen or it's crazy behind this counter, but like out there it needs to be serene. It needs to stay chill. It needs to like, keep the vibe of whatever restaurant you work at. If you're not good at working under pressure, you get overwhelmed easily, you get flustered easily, I would not work in the restaurant industry. And I say that with your best interest at heart. A busy restaurant is like a war zone. It is insane. Like, I mean, it's crazy. I've never seen anything like it. And see a lady yelling at you and then like your managers are getting mad at you for something and people are asking you to try and help them out. And like, you're trying to do your job at the same time. People are getting mad because you messed something up and like everything's happening at one time. You can't start freaking out. You know what I mean? Like it's all about preserving the image and keeping a professional attitude. You have to keep it together and you can't just start like yelling at people. Okay, number six, forgive and forget. 
Like I said earlier, you could be best friends with all of those people that you work with, but if it is a busy night like that, people are gonna get under each other's skin because it's all dependent upon their money and that could, you know, mean rent, whatever. Like, people depend on these jobs and so when things get kind of messy, people get irritable. It's fine, it happens, people get stressed out and that's okay, you know, if you're doing 50 million things at one time and someone asks you to do something, you might not have a really nice response. But the, I guess the theme that I'm trying to get across is at the end of the day, forgive and forget like you could have the craziest night and like people just keep coming in the door and it's like slammed in the kitchen slammed and you're slammed and like you don't know what's going on it's like <laughs> insane for like six hours and then once you turn off that open sign the doors are locked and we're all just like cleaning up it's gone all of our worries from the night all of the tensions they're all out the door it's okay you know what i mean at the end of the day we're all still friends and we're all still stuck with each other so like even if we are kind of mad there's no point. Okay, number seven is being fake. Okay, human services is all about being fake. And if you are just a restaurant goer and you never worked in a restaurant, you never want to work in a restaurant and you are naive to the idea, um, here is me telling you that 90% of the time we are being fake, okay? And that's not to say that what you're saying isn't interesting and that we're not actually captivated in a conversation. I'm just saying that like 90% of the time, small talk and stuff, it's not really that real. A lot of it is fake. And that's all about, like I said earlier, preserving the vibe of the restaurant, preserving the image of the restaurant, is that if you're working in the restaurant industry, you have to act like you care about the six-year-old woman telling you about her new living room chair. You have to care a lot. Not only do your tips depend on it, so therefore like your rent or whatever you're trying to do, not only does the restaurant depend on it, your job depend on it, like a lot of things rest on the fact that you like this lady's living, living room chair. And I swear to God that happened to me one time. A lady came into the restaurant that I work at, talked to me about the new living room chair she had for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And you know what I did? I found a way to talk about a chair for 30 minutes. And that's what you have to do and I got a really good tip after it. So I was like, whatever. I just need to find a way to make everyone feel welcome in your restaurant. And no matter what they're talking about, no matter what they're dealing with, you're there to like care. Okay, number eight. I saves the most important thing I could think of for number eight. Above all of these rules, if you take none of them with you, take this one. Work relationships are never a good idea. Ever. This is me telling you that from everything that I have witnessed in the past year, Work relationships are a bad idea. Bad. Don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Because he said, she said, it's just, it's just never a good idea. It's just really not. I, if you find like the love of your life and he works at the same restaurant of you, then one of you needs to quit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. If you have worked in a restaurant, you know what I mean. There was a couple there that it got bad. Unless you were the couple there, then you know. That's all I gotta say about that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just from my personal experience, these are eight things that I wish I knew and the eight rules that I wish I followed. Um, so here I am passing down my wise elder woman folklore tales to my grandchildren in hopes that they will listen and they will follow these rules. Hope you guys have a have a great Wednesday. I'm gonna try and post every Wednesday. I say that, that might not last very long. I'm gonna try though. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below what you wanna see. Again, I need video ideas, please help.